Well, throughout the day, Vizio Vision Cam will be providing you with unique shots from above the action as we welcome you back to the Super Bowl today and continuing live from South Florida. You know, when you think about the New Orleans Saints, chances are you think about their ability to put plenty of points on the scoreboard. But what you might not realize, however, is that 141 of their points this season have come as a result of picks and recovered fumbles. In all, the often overlooked New Orleans defense has created 39 takeaways. Hall of Famer Leslie Visser joins us now from inside the stadium with more. Hello, Leslie. Uh, hello, JB. Hi, guys. Well, you're absolutely right, JB. Everyone knows the Saints got here on offense, but the Saints defense would like to prove they're not just backup singers in this Super Bowl. The challenge is enormous, putting pressure on Peyton Manning, but the Saints feel they've already handled two future Hall of Famers in Kurt Warner and Brett Favre, and they're confident that today they can disrupt the next future Hall of Famer. Not everybody around the world knows you guys, so I'm going to do a little part here. It's in the cards. Okay, pick a card. If you could master one instrument, what would it be? Me trying to be a romantic type of guy. I would love to just sit by my piano with some roses, <laughs> glass Stop. of wine. Stop. <laughs> I used to play the trumpet, and uh, just being in New Orleans, seeing a big tradition down here, uh, I wish I could still play. Let me see your cheeks blow out. My cheeks oh. can't get <laughs> Don't do it. Well, no. <laughs> what historical time period would you like to visit? I'd like to visit, visit the Dark Ages. <laughs> the Dark Ages, because everyone knows about what happened before. Everyone knows what happened about what happened after. What happened then? I just want to know. I would like to go back in the Egyptian times when the Egyptians yeah, back back with the pyramids and all that cool stuff. Pretty impressive. But I have to be a king now. <laughs> a pharaoh, I have to be a pharaoh. Um, I want a little bit of your childhood. Um, you rooted for the 49ers, so were you like a Charles Haley fan? Yeah, yeah, I was, I was definitely a Charles Haley fan. I was a big uh, Jerry Rice fan. Believe it or not, I used to be a receiver in high school. And no, no we believe it or believe. not. <laughs> <laughs> Right behind him, I was a 49ers fan. You're going to call me a bandwagon rider, and I was. So I was a front runner. And I played quarterback growing oh, up, really? so Joe Montana. Then I went to safety, and of course, Ronnie Lott. Uh, Is that why you wear 42? Yeah, that's exactly why I wore 42. Are you a little nervous now that uh, the two guys you're depending on, one wanted to be a receiver, and the other was the quarterback? They were extremely misguided. So <laughs> I'm glad that they, they came to their senses now. It's OK. <laughs> It feels sort of the defense is a little bit lost in kind of all the advanced stories of this Super Bowl. Honestly, that's what we want. We want the offense to get all the credit. They sell the tickets and, you know, let the defense just quietly do our thing. And, uh, you know, that's what we did in the championship game. In all the times you've known Brett, was that one of the most punishing games he ever endured? The shots that he was taking was just tremendous. And it's a testament to our defense and how we play. And uh, we like to say there's more to come. How do you stop Peyton Manning? This guy right here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not worried about where he's pointing and all the signals he's calling out and this, that, and the third. I can't get caught up in that. I got to keep it real small and just work it, worry about the offensive line and the quarterback. He wants you to be mentally exhausted as well as physically exhausted uh, for myself throughout the game. There may come a point where, you know, I just say, you know what, forget it. I don't want to try to dissect everything that he's saying and uh, just keep playing football. You know, Peyton Manning, you give him one weapon, he's tough to stop, but you give him four or five, uh, it makes it almost impossible. But if he wants to throw the ball 40 to 50 times, uh, we think it's going to be not only great opportunities for Will to get a sack, for Jonathan Vilma to get a sack or interception. Uh, we think we're going to have a lot of chances to make a lot of plays and cause turnovers, and that's what we've been doing uh, all year long. It's been a busy week for Jonathan Vilma. He is the son of Haitian parents who was born right here in South Florida. He'll be going to Haiti next week. Well, Jonathan said he's been watching film of Peyton Manning round the clock, but he will not keep changing his defenses based on Peyton's gyrations because some of it is a decoy. Well, Ricky Jackson, the only Saint player to be voted to the Pro Football Hall of Fame, it happened yesterday. He told me this morning he has the utmost confidence in this Saint defense. Defense. In fact, he said this is the best secondary the New Orleans Saints have ever had. JB? All right, Leslie, thank you so very much for that excellent report. Right now, folks, we are pleased to be joined by a pair of all pros as we talk over the helicopter. This is live TV.